Okay, welcome to Virtual Tarot. Welcome. Welcome, Cancer. Welcome to the month of December. And it is a wonderful month with Ava and Trudy. Um, we're in heaven. Yes. <laughs> or at least we're in the cloud. We're sort of in between. <laughs> yes, we're downloading data from the cloud for you this yes. month. Yes, and, um, directly. So we're gonna we're gonna give you a lot of little cloud puns here, but but really we were inspired by It's a Wonderful Life, our I, movie. Oh, I love that movie. It is a modern myth. Yes. And it has so much in it that is inspirational, and it's a shame they only see it once a, once a year. Right. Because the the movie really is about faith, hope, and love. It really is. It is. It is. It is. All right. Okay, so um, and we were inspired by the the section where the little the little girl Juju uh, says to uh, her father. Yes, she, he said. She says every time a bell rings, an angel gets their wings. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. That's right. So, we would like to ring your bell yes. so you can get your wings as well yeah. and yeah. be inspired with faith, hope, and love. Yeah. So, so we do spontaneous, in the moment readings, and for the month of December, this is for you, dear Cancer. This is your life, Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and because there's no furniture up here, yes, <laughs> I'll be holding the cards. Okay, so How in the they first, eat? I don't, I don't know. know. They don't. They, they don't they need feed to. each other. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, eat, do they? Oh, that might be. I don't know. <laughs> I guess they're all very skinny then. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of nice actually. Okay, so in the first position, oh, we're doing a four-card spread. First position is the month's overall environment. Yes. We have the Empress. In the upright. Da, 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 da. Take a look at this card, folks. Oh, it is resplendent with good things. Yeah, it is the card of pregnancy. It is. You Fertility. see the cornucopia at her feet? Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you're thinking about getting pregnant or trying not to get pregnant, this is the month <laughs> that you should either try or uh, double up on that birth control. <laughs> you, yes, there's fertility in the air. Yeah, it's all around you. And someone sees you as a goddess. Yes, and you are surrounded by the growth of the seeds you have planted in the past. Absolutely. And yeah. you are extremely content in your environment. Mm -hmm. So this is a card that is deeply spiritual. Yeah. Meaning that you are the the goddess of your realm, right? Really, and you know, really, it's not only about giving birth uh, literally. No, this can this card can also speak to giving birth to what is inside of you. Right. So if there's something inside of you that's sort of been, you know. It's kind of dormant. It's sort of under the radar. Gestating. Gestating. <laughs> That's a better word. Yes. Um, it, you know, you're going to feel in the month of December very motivated to like bring this to, Tuition. to the earth plane. Yeah? Yes. To, to birth this. To birth this. The fruits of uh, your desires yeah. will manifest. Wow, and it can even speak to new love, really. Oh, it can. And to be, it can. Be, being admired uh -huh. by uh, the opposite sex. And also having dominion over your realm. Yeah. That is power and control over mm -hmm. your the, the environment. And you know, cancer, that's perfect for cancer yeah. because that's what they want. They want their home, their, their, whether that's their immediate home or even in their career. The family that they have there, oh, yeah. they want that to be um, under their dominion, mm -hmm. you know, so their, their fair and loving dominion. Mm -hmm. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so that is the overall environment of the month, Miss Goddess Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, and it, <laughs> well, this challenge. is good. This is good, actually, in the challenge, a challenge position for December. Right. 
We have the Six of Cups, which Six of Cups is, I like to say, it's the karma card. Mm -hmm. It's also like, you know, warm fuzzies about childhood. And um, in the challenge position, it can mean family. Um, it can mean past relationships. So there is a bit of challenge within um, maybe getting together with folks from the past or connecting or since this is in the challenge position it is in the upright could be because you know uh, of course christmas is coming and yeah. or hanukkah or mm -hmm. and family wants to come together right and maybe there's a challenge in trying to bring family members yeah. together yeah but it's in the upright so but the feelings the are good oh yes about the reunion mm -hmm. it's just a challenge to accomplish it yeah to, yeah it's teamwork too mm -hmm. um teamwork with people whom you've known for quite a bit of time. And so maybe the challenge is to work with them um, uh, positively. Right. And um, so, yep, yep. but as the Empress, you're not gonna have that much of trouble, really. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. they will respect your authority. And yeah. that's, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, that's a really cool card. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's getting a little bumpy up here. Oh, okay. Data movie <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah. There should be. <laughs> Some song. If there's not a song, karma, there should karma, be. Karma. Six of cup, cups. Karma, karma, so, karma. Okay. Moving on. Moving on to the third position, which is the unexpected. unexpected. Unexpectedly, we have the five of cups. So in the upright. In the upright, which is uh, which is fine. So what might be happening unexpectedly is that you are going to have to sacrifice some sort of emotional uh, connection. Um, maybe someone can't come to your celebration that you had um, hoped would. Mm -hmm. Maybe the card that precedes it um, indicates that you're trying to work as a team with, with some of the members of your family, extended family, mm -hmm. people you like and love from the past. But maybe unexpectedly, some of those will have to be sacrificed or given up. Or maybe you just won't be able to make those connections as um, effectively as you thought. That's mm -hmm. all. Unexpectedly, but, yeah. But you have, um, you have cups. You, you have everything mm -hmm. still in place. You have everything still. All your connections are still there. It's just that you are unexpectedly grieving a little bit about that certain people or certain connections um, weren't made the way you wanted them mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, it kind of feels like when you look at these three, mm -hmm. the Empress being the card of the Great Mother. Yes, which is what Cancer is. Yeah, the Great Mother, I mean, she's in the upright and that's the overall environment of the month. It's almost like a little um, calling the chicks home. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then there's a bit of this, oh, we're missing a few. We're missing a few. Those chicks can't come. And you feel like the Five of Cups may have a little bit to do with tears. Tears are shed. Well, then, yes. Turn around, you know, and then... Maybe your children are finding a life of their own. Feel good about uh, <laughs> the ones who are still in the stable. Or well, the ones in that the pen. are in the corral or in... The estate, yeah. since uh, it is the empress that yeah. you are this, yeah. this month. But yes. some of them aren't there, some right. of them are past, some of them are gone. Some and it can even be larger than the children. It could be even, you know, the challenge position is like past relationships. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it could be some people have passed. Some people have We're actually We're missing passed. people who have passed who are deceased. And that often happens this time of year, too, mm -hmm. is that we ponder what we had before yeah. with the people around us who may have passed mm -hmm. and my mother passed in December of oh. last year and so there would be some of that in my life as well so I understand very well how um, that bit of sadness might come into you even if you don't expect it to. Right, yeah, that's what's going on here. Okay, let's see what we have at the, the end of the month. Going into next year, aww, cancer.
it's the Aww. Four of Cups inverted. You're all so much about heart. Oh, it's so sweet. It is. Oh. Well, you know what, though? It's in the inverse. Yes. Which, which is, is good. good. Which yeah. Is good. And this is all about being aware. Four of Cups says, oh, I'm a little bit, uh, and we've said before, world weary. I'm a little checked out. I'm feeling a little bummed out. Uh, even though there are people around me who are trying to intrigue me and offer me uh, condolences you. Yes. and, um, you know, and love you. And right. love you. But you're just kind of like, oh, there's, so, there's that one thing that you're really focused on. It's really bumming you out. But at the end of the year, it looks as if that's going to turn around. Yeah. You're yeah. going gonna to, you know, get, maybe stand up. Dry your tears right. and, uh, and um, really, you know, pay attention to what you do have. And yes, yeah, see those cups right in front of you, meaning mm -hmm. the, those sources of love. Yep. You're going to notice them again and then realize that real happiness comes from deep appreciation of what you already have. And in the now. And in the now. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. in something that you've lost. Right, in the past. Right. But this in is going to be a, a month of of deep um, reverie and um, just, you know, really feeling, um, rem you know, reminiscing. I, I reminiscing, see a lot of yes, that. Yes, I yeah. do too. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. I, I mm -hmm. Sort of immersing yourself in what was. Right. And so right. becoming a little saddened by the things you don't have any longer in the moment. But at the end of the, the uh, year, that is, at the beginning of the year and the end of the month, mm -hmm. you will have resolved that within yourself. Right, right. So you may, this season, this holiday season, feel a little sad. Yes. Feel a little sad, a little bummed out because you're not seeing the folks that you think maybe somewhere in the back of your mind you should be seeing. Yes. But the the end of the year brings the How focus back to the positive. How much is positive. This real cancer? Cancer is this way. So yeah. Cancer is about um, uh, they're nourished by the connections they have with their friends and their family. Right. That's their source. Yeah, because they're the great mother. They're the yeah. ones who give birth to mm -hmm. the family. Yes. Yeah. So you know, family's not around. This this. Uh, time of year, this may be a good time for you to pay attention to. It doesn't have to be the family of the past, it can be the family of the now. Yes. Yes. So, Cancer, I think you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful December. And you a are. Splendid holiday with lots of love around you. You have love all around you. Yes. So, so enjoy it. Thank you for watching. We want to give a shout out to Ohm Times. Oh, yes. Go to ohmtimes.com. Uh, we are on their Astro. Page in the drop down, mm -hmm. um, and we want to just give them a big thanks. And also, uh, please go to compulsivenails.com. Really, really groovy girl gifts for the lazy person. And That's they are like to do awesome nail decals. <laughs> She's wearing little itty bitty you eyes just go on instantly on so her you don't nails. Have to worry about it. Yes, little eyes. They're very cute. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the bonus reel. Yes, we'll be reading for the whole. Here. As a present to you. Can't yes. wait to find out. Oh, me too. Really All not. right. Okay. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next year. Bye, Cancer. Bye. Bye. Yes. Welcome, Cancer, to the bonus reel. Welcome, Cancer. As you will see, we have 12 boxes here. We'll be reading for the 12 signs of Christmas. And we just so happen to have Cancer right here on the tap. What do you know? Magical. Doing? It's amazing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're downloading the data right here from the clouds. Yes, we are. There goes Direct. Dropbox. Dropbox just went by. <laughs> and um, we will be reading um, four card spread, card for every season. Placing them in the quad. Okay. Yes, and as you can see, I'm, I'm shuffling right here in the moment for you. And the first card represents the season of spring for you. Yeah, in the upright. Too. In the upright. So we have the hierophant in the upright, okay. which for Cancer, okay, so. Yes. The hierophant oh. represents traditions. 
things that are traditional, I should say, institutions can represent the government. It can represent um, existing hierarchy. Um, and it is in the upright. So uh, in the spring, this is like a major arcana card, mm -hmm. which means there is movement, which you can do nothing about, mm -hmm. which has to do with organization, you fitting into organization. Mm -hmm. And that organization will be traditional. And that seems to play a huge role for the spring. It's a council card too, so you may need counseling, uh, seeking out help to understand how you're going to fit in to this particular organization. Since you're a cancer. Yes. <laughs> you're a water sign. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's an interesting, yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah. For the hierophant would be probably a card that um, a, a Libra would understand oh, a little yes. bit more than a cancer because cancers come from the heart. They yeah. operate from the heart. So this is, you know. This is much more of a card having to do with analysis, mm -hmm. uh, seeking someone who can help a analyze the situation for you to, to give you a, a clue as to, to how you're going to fit. It's kind of like understanding the rules of the game, I guess. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Whatever game that might be that you're playing. It's like reading the instructions in the Monopoly game. Oh, that's right. That's a good analogy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then in the next position, Cancer, we have another major arcana card. What's a major? Which yeah, is the card, <laughs> it's, well, it's the tower. It's the tower. And it has both the mundane and the esoteric uh, interpretations. And on a mundane level, it could simply mean that suddenly you may have to move. Suddenly, you, your immediate environment changes. Uh, suddenly, the organization that you've been trying to fit into might disintegrate or fall apart because that's about organization. So, right. so. Um, Somehow the the, the order mm -hmm. of the things. structure of things mm -hmm. uh, falls, mm -hmm. and but on an esoteric level, it has to do with egoism, and whenever one becomes too egoistic, um, it tends to create disaster. Mm -hmm. So someone's ego, whether that be yours or those around you, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is causing the structures of your of your life to to. Uh, and it's sudden. It's sudden. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a card of, of immediate. You're not anticipating mm -hmm. it. And unfortunately, and this is a sad um, analogy, but the tower. Is, is reminiscent of the towers, the twin towers. Oh. Yeah, which, I mean, they were taken <laughs> down in a flash, and um, that oh is, is a very sad, sad situation. Right. Um, you know, so, I mean, it could be on a world level, even, if oh. we're going to look at this from a, a world level, which is often the hierophant represents government, Oh. the world, that type of thing, and sometimes this can just mean this is what's on your mind. Or maybe the the troubles that government is having um, affect you in some way, mm -hmm. uh, negatively. That is that maybe you can't get your checks the way yeah. that you want, mm -hmm. or that you're not getting the assistance, and with Obamacare and with the disaster that it's going through right, right now, right. a lot of people are finding it uh, they're unable to find assistance mm -hmm. the, the way they've been promised. Or they're not claiming the, um, you know, I mean, this is all what is happening inside of you because all of yes. this happens inside of us, it, it's not it, outside of us. So no, this but is, sometimes the outside of, can affect yeah. our life tremendously. Mm -hmm. And these are two major arcana cards, right. which is interesting because this says this stuff's out of your control. Right. Something so, is beyond your control mm -hmm. and you're being affected by it. Yeah. On an interior level, again, it has to do with deep questions of um, whether you're allowing your ego to rule. Mm -hmm. And if you are, <clears throat> it will have disastrous effects. Mm -hmm. So that's... Well, maybe you felt safe and, and, you know, now you're... 
Okay, wow, Cancer. All right, so in the third position, which seems to be the point where we pivot out of spring and summer, we have we have the devil in the upright, which, um, so. speaking to vice, speaking to, um, you know, uh, going to vice um, and finding comfort in vice, sometimes checking out, and that's usually what addictions are all about. So this card is all about... Um, diving down into the shadow yeah. uh, to sort of, you know, it's like an ostrich with his head in the sand, you know, you don't want to deal with what's going on and so instead you just decide to like it's fall good. into vice. But it's, devil is also can be passion. Yeah. I don't see it as a, it, you know, the devil, or people get the devil, and they're like, oh my god, I get the devil, but, you know, yeah. it's not but that it bad. Be, but, you know, the devil also, in, in, in Tarot and in many other um, uh, more ancient traditions, has represented materialism. Mm -hmm. So maybe what you do to compensate for, for the, the tower, yeah, for the yeah. tower is you immerse yourself in materiality. Mm -hmm. You get... Such a, as what, what would be material? What just pursuing pursuing shopping money. shopping money? Maybe you shop. Just, just you <laughs> need your your total focus yeah. becomes the material. Yeah, world. yeah. You redecorate. You re yeah, or you redecorate, uh -huh. or, you, or you simply um, over shop. Right, right. Or you, you you know you spend a lot of money on you know, Botox or whatever right. is in or, the here or now, which right. is fine. I love Botox, it's but. <laughs> I do. Um, but, you know, th that's interesting because it's also the time of harvest. And you go move into the devil, and the devil is a time of frivolity because of the time of harvest, and it's pan, and it's, right. you know. It's, or it could just be you're drinking too much. It's just <laughs> moving away from all of this other stuff, which is, you know, yeah. you feel out of control, and, you, and yeah. actually you are out of control. Yeah, it seems like. This is out of your control. Yeah, some, something's, uh, something's shaped shaking you up a little bit yeah and uh, now you're trying to find a solution to that and yeah. sometimes it's addiction and sometimes yeah. it's just immersing yourself in the in the ul ultimate practical things of life yeah so not to have heart ties not to not to care about um, emotional things anymore uh -huh. just to go through yeah. life on a purely um, pragmatic and material yeah and a material level yeah uh -huh. eating a lot eating a lot <laughs> That always solves everything, right. doesn't it? Right. Sex, <laughs> drugs, rock and roll, and food, right? Okay, huh. and then we have in the fourth and final position, oh boy, you finally get a grip in you the get a winter. Grip, you get it back together again. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Swords in the upright. So clear thinking, yes, and it is a minor arcana card, which is good because that means you're back mm -hmm. in control. Right. And, um, and you will, at the end of the year, you will see your way through, you'll be able to cut through all this craziness going on previously, um, which, you know, when we go back here to the Hierophant, don't you see, I mean, the Hierophant is the law. It's the law. Yeah, the yeah. Hier Hierophant is governance. Okay, so cutting through and um, getting your, it feels like they're getting a sense of what is going on, oh, it comes all the way back. Right. Um, so, so you know, maybe understanding. So the council of cards, maybe, you know, sort of get your arms around what is going on in the spring. Yeah, do your best to really understand the law, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Understand your rights. Yes. Whether that's strictly speaking with the government, but it could also be your rights in your own life. What yeah. right do you have? Right. What, what, yeah. what do you want? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because it is about black and white thinking. Yes. This is not about matters of the heart. No, it isn't. No. And you're dealing with things, unfortunately, in the in the fall, not in the best of ways, but you know we're all human. Yes. And uh, and that's all right. That's all right. We all have shadow sides. Right. Bring it out into Bring the it light. Out. Just do a lot of it until you're sick of it. That's, right. <laughs> that's what it takes often. What is the ex? Um, the road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. Ooh. That's so place. thanks so much for watching. And uh, I hope you tune in next month and see what's going on in January.
Right, uh, we'll be doing all the signs every single month. And uh, if you know your rising sign, moon sign, please look at those as well. And thank you so much for subscribing. And if you would please make comments on that down the part. Oh yes, please do. <laughs> we love the comments. Yes, yes. how interesting they are to us. We live vicariously through you. We actually had one guy ask us to both marry him. Yes. What a strange family. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it would be very, it'd be very expensive. <laughs> so um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we will see you in January. Bye. Bye, bye, Cancer. <laughs>